So the House of Commodity recently had a comeback in 2021. So in today's review, we're going to be reviewing one of their new fragrances, Velvet Plus, and talk a little bit about their new scent space concept. So stay tuned for the review. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, go ahead and smash the subscribe button down below. But that is correct guys, we're re reviewing the new Velvet Plus by the House of Commodity. Now, you guys might know the House of Commodity from these bottles right here. These used to pop up at like Sephora, obviously on the Commodity website and stores like that. And then all of a sudden, I think about two years ago, Commodity actually filed for bankruptcy. And these started to pop up at your local rack stores, such as like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, and etc. That's where I actually picked uh, Vetiver and Bergamot up, which are both incredible fragrances. But in the year of 2021, they came out with a whole new line and a whole new scent space concept, which I think is very, very unique. And obviously they came out with these new kind of taller bottles. Uh, this one with the, I think this is uh, the bold scent space, which means for me and everyone else, so if you want to just be bold, you have that uh, extroverse kind of personality and you want people to smell you right when you enter a room, the bold is going to be for you. And then they have expressive, which is more of like a, um, you kind of don't want to be that much of a, uh, pretty much stand out that much, but you still want people to somewhat smell you. Maybe if you walk by them kind of close, they'll get a whiff of you. And then you also have personal, which is going to be like your introvert person that doesn't really want to stand out by their fragrance, don't want to be really, um, attention grabbing they just want to smell it for themselves and maybe if someone comes in very very close to your scent bubble you'll be able to pick it up but for me guys no honestly i'm not really an extrovert myself but i do love when people can smell me i love having a presence of my fragrance and it's also a good conversation starter i get so many people come up and talk about my fragrance how they love it and then we talk about it but um yeah, that's why I went with Velvet Plus Bold, which is my favorite one from their new line, alongside Gold Plus, which is also absolutely incredible. It's like a very nice vanilla heavy fragrance, but we'll talk about what this one smells like. But um, as far as information now, Velvet Plus was launched in 2021. Uh, it retails for $145 for the Velvet Plus. Then you have Velvet Minus, which is the personal, I think retails for $125. And then you just have regular uh, velvet, which is going to be your um, your expressive, which retails for one thirty five. So I think there's only a ten dollar difference in between all three. Now with your personal, I think that's going to be like your eau de toilette. With your expressive, that's going to be your eau de parfum. And then with bold, that's going to be your extract de parfum. I think they wanted to do that because the naming of like EDT, EDP, extract or parfum is kind of outdated i think they said and they kind of want to make it more simple for your average person that just likes to smell good and just wants to buy a random fragrance so they did that instead of just calling it like those obviously words that we've known for many many years now but yeah so that's pretty much the information i'm not sure who the perfumer is behind velvet plus so if anyone knows leave a comment down below i cannot find that information but um yeah let's go ahead and go over the packaging and presentation of the new lineup of commodity fragrances In the top notes, you're gonna get black amber, rose petals, and almond. In the middle notes, you're gonna get musk. And in the base notes, you're gonna get patchouli, labdanum, and amber. Now that is a very, very nice note breakdown in my opinion. So let's go ahead and give a, a first spray, or not a first spray, but let's give it a spray and get my initial first impression from this one. All right, it's a decent atomizer. It does shoot pretty narrow, but not a problem at all and how about that packaging of the new commodity guys they definitely stepped it up stepped it up a ton over the predecessor packaging which was kind of generic just a random um kind of generic cardboard box but now they have this nice like texture kind of rubbery 
box and a much better presentation, but let's go ahead and smell Velvet Plus. Okay, so the rose in Velvet Plus is very, very dominant, but it's not like your typical kind of feminine rose. It's actually a very like sticky, jammy kind of rose, very red. But also what I get with Velvet Plus is a ton of like um, smokiness. That might be come from the lab denim, I believe. It's a very, very smoky fragrance. And that's what I just love about this fragrance here. If you guys know me, obviously you know I love smoky fragrances. And this one is no exception to that. But also you get that nice gourmand almond accord as well. Yeah, very, very nutty almond in here. Which is very pleasant. It works perfectly alongside the rose. The rose and almond are just beautiful together. Then also you get one of my favorite notes, which is very, very dominant as well, is patchouli. You get this earthy patchouli in here, very green. And I just love that. And they did patchouli very, very well over at the House of Commodity because it's done great in this fragrance. And then as it dries down, it does dry down into like a nice warm golden amber. And this fragrance is as smooth as velvet. If you guys read the card, it actually is. If you've ever touched velvet, it's very, very smooth. That's what this fragrance is here. Now, to tell you guys, it does remind me of one fragrance. One fragrance comes to mind the first time I smelled this. Not exactly, do have their differences, but it's a very similar scent profile. And that fragrance is Montal's Intense Cafe. If you've ever smelled Montal Intense Cafe and you love that one, you're definitely gonna love it. Or if you've ever smelled Intense Cafe and was like, wow, if only this had like a nice smokiness to it and maybe a less uh, coffee, you, this is it to a T right here. This is pretty much more smoky, less coffee fragrance to Intense Cafe. And maybe because I'm getting that similarity, it's obviously because of the rose, you have the almonds, which you kind of come across like a, um, like a coffee kind of a corn, but just very, very smoky and very earthy and green. Man, I love it. If you're a guy and you're looking at this fragrance, you're like, wow, it has roses in it. That's going to be feminine. No, do not let that persuade you away from this fragrance because it's not that at all. I actually really like roses. And I think roses are more of like a masculine floral, in my opinion. Obviously, women can wear roses too, of course. But compared to like peonies, um, neroli, jasmine, stuff like that, I think rose is one of the more masculine uh, floral fragrance notes. Just because it's very red, it's very dark, very jammy most of the time. Obviously, you got clean roses too, which do lean a little bit more feminine, but in this one, it's a very red, jammy rose. And I love that about it. Now, as far as Seasons 4 Velvet Plus, now, you definitely want to want to wear this one in the colder months as what we're in right now, the dead of winter. The dead of winter and fall. I think fall would actually work perfect for it too. Just because of the uh, almond accord, the smokiness, and the patchouli, flow, fall would be perfect for Velvet Plus. Now, as far as age groups, um, yeah, this is a pretty um, mature fragrance just because of the rose, the almond, and smoky, smoky accords in here. I don't see your typical teenager wearing this one to like high school or nothing like that. If you're in college, definitely wear this. You'd be able to rock it in above that. So 20s and up, you would be able to rock this no problem. If you're a little bit more younger, like juvenile, nah, you probably won't even enjoy this one, to be honest. Now, I know it has a black amber note. I don't know what that is. I think that might be amber green, possibly. Um, I don't really get an amber green kind of tone in here, but I think that's what that is. I never heard it be known as black amber before, but I believe so. Um, yeah, so age group's a little bit more mature. In the seasons, obviously fall and winter for this one. Um, as far as occasion, now, this is actually a very kind of formal scent profile. This isn't gonna be so um, casual like going, or business casual if you're going to work and stuff. This probably is not the best fragrance for them. So it's not really crowd pleasing. It's not like a clean smelling fragrance. It's not aquatic. It's not, it doesn't even have any uh, citrus notes in there. No bergamot, no lemon, no orange, nothing. Which is kind of cool and kind of surprising. Obviously a lot of fragrances have a top note of like a bunch of citruses, even dark fragrances. But this one, this gets straight to business guys with that rose, almond, and patchouli. 
Yeah, that's why I love this one so much. Now, as far as performance goes for Velvet Plus, obviously I have the bow. Now, I did test all of them because I also have their exploration kit, which is very, very cool. Um, so definitely, I'll leave a link to where I purchased this fragrance and their exploration kit if you want to try it out because this fragrance was actually sent to me for a review as well. But yeah, I'll leave that down below where you'll be able to test out every single scent profile. I think there's like 16 fragrances in there. So I did test out Velvet Minus, Velvet, and Velvet Plus. They all had a similar scent DNA, but I did much prefer Velvet Plus over all of those. Just for me, I like my stuff to be dense. I like my stuff to be strong and powerful. But obviously there is occasions where you don't want that. You don't want to be loud, but this one is loud. Um, this one lasted for as longevity, easily eight plus hours without a problem. As far as projection, it projected heavy for around four hours of over arms reach. So when you walk into like a space, they're going to smell you, even if they're not like six feet away from you. It's very, very potent stuff here. Which you would expect from being obviously, I think it has to be an H8 to pop phone. I think that's what they went for with bold. Doesn't say on the bottom, but yeah. So it is an X straight to pop foam concentration. There's all in all a very good rose, masculine, smoky, kind of gourmand green fragrance. That's what you're going to get with Velvet Plus. So let me know down below if you've actually tried their new lineup of commodity with their scent space. Let me know what you think about it. I think it's very unique and different. It, it, no one else took a different approach to it besides commodity. So hats off to them. But yeah, leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch all you guys in the next upload. Take care, everybody.